What up bros, I'm Frank. This is a combo review. Two blasters in this video on the Zuru X-Shot Bug Attack combo set. This is the rapid fire pistol and the eliminator double barrel shotgun thing. Included are the two blasters, a handful of darts, and a few of the bug target things. Testing out the bulk or combo review concept, let me know in the comment section what you think. So the concept behind the bug attack line is you, you attack bugs. Yeah, believe it or not. These things are actually really cool, and I'm really kind of surprised after seeing how fun it is to shoot it like a moving target. I am surprised nobody else has come out with a moving target. They have these really tacky little feet things, so when you throw it at something like a wall or glass or just something, um, it doesn't work on all materials because of it. It feels like one of those little rubber hands that you get from the dentist where you fling and you smack your brother in the face, or maybe that was just me, but we used to just war with those things. It's like that. So it kind of sticks, but temporarily. So when it hits something, it'll slowly fall. So you can shoot at it. It's pretty fun. And they come in, you know, assorted colors. That's the bug attack concept. More on that later. I'll go over these blasters. Starting out with the Eliminator. This blaster is a spring power blaster. You prime it like that and you fire it like that and it has two barrels up here. It fires one at a time. It doesn't fire both. Kind of a bummer, but I haven't seen a shotgun that low or primes like this. That's kind of irregular. I've seen the brake barrel or, you know, like the sling fire thing when you flip out this guy, but none that pull back like this. Not saying it doesn't exist. I'm saying I can't think of anything that does that, but I'll go over the external features. It's pretty simple. There are no tactical rails or anything like kind of hidden features. You can kind of just see everything. Two barrels all the way up here. It doesn't load from the back or anything, so I assume this is just a ton of dead space. Either that or this priming arm just sticks all the way up through the blaster. To load, you just front load like this, and they're loaded. They don't push all the way back. They're actually just at the tip. Just the tip! Moving up, you have this blue slime stuff. It's on this blaster too. I assume it's like a, a theme of the, the bug attack line, but I don't think it does anything. And it's plastic. It's not like I spilled something on the blaster here. Already covered the priming handle to prime again. You just pull back. It's a big oversized handle, if you can't tell. I'd say the grip is pretty comfortable. If anything, this little guy kind of restricts how comfortable I can get my hand. But really, I wouldn't complain that much, especially for the target market of this blaster. And, and I'll get to that in my opinion, since it's not really a performance-based blaster. Sorry to spoil it for you. And to this little sad excuse of a stock, I think at this point, like <laughs> this thing is like three inches long. Um, you definitely, I mean, shoot, you can't shoulder that at all. That's even more pathetic than like the retaliator thing. At what point do you just make a sawed off shotgun? That could look really cool. Yeah, so operation is pretty simple. You pull back like this and fire one at a time. It doesn't fire both. It's not like a real shotgun shotgun, but that is the eliminator blaster. Now to the rapid fire. This blaster I have a much higher opinion of. My opinion will be after the firing sequences of both of them. This is a six shot revolver. Pretty compressed cylinder. It is a pretty thin profile blaster considering it holds six shots in its uh, cylinder. This too is a front loader. You can just push your darts in like that and it, it loads like any other like turret blaster. Blue slime again doesn't do anything. Um, no tack rails or anything like that. The grip is very comfortable. It does seem oversized, very comfortable. It's not really cramped like some other blasters. And this is a good example of the handle that can be comfortable for a kid, but not alienating to an adult. I comment on this a lot because it doesn't make any sense not to do it like this. Priming handle is up here. To prime, you pull back like this. It's exactly like, you know, the, the eliminator here. It is a little bit different because I'm used to like the strong arm with a slide or the hammer shot or, you know, any pullback not mated with a revolver up here. Unique, just another option. So you front load, you pull back on the priming handle, and then you fire. It has six shots up front. Firing tests of both blasters. Headshot. One left. First up, the Eliminator. Um, besides a few sort of crappy shots, it shot pretty well. It shoots consistently. The ammo here is pretty consistent because it, it's a different design than the Elite Dart. Put it up in the chronograph and I got an average of about 67 feet per second and that's with the Zuru darts, not like Nerf Elite darts. But for the sake of comparison, I also chronoed it with Elite darts and I got an average of about 63 feet per second. So the X-Shot darts did perform a little bit better than the Elite darts. The blaster is probably optimized for these darts. I only shoot them with the Elite darts so you can kind of compare the chrono. But 63 feet per second with the Elite darts um, says the power of 
of the blaster is a little bit less than like a normal Nerf Elite blaster, which shoots about 70 feet per second. To the rapid fire, I put it up on the chrono with the stock darts, or you know, the Zuru darts, and got an average of about 74 feet per second, and then put it up with Nerf Elite darts and got an average of about 71 feet per second. Again, Elite darts a little bit slower, but that's to compare to other blasters, which means it's shooting about as hard as a normal Nerf Elite blaster at about 70 feet per second. Quick note about the darts, I did see better patterns out of the Zuru darts. I didn't see the, the consistency or the accuracy quite as good as like Kush Gen 3 darts, but from my observations, the Zuru darts shot a little bit more accurately than the Nerf Elite darts, which is good. Need to point out one problem I had with the rapid fire, the pistol. Sometimes the cylinder would not feed consistently, or sometimes sometimes it would work. Most of the time it did not. I very rarely have rotational issues with like the hammer shot or the strong arm. I shoot those and I, I run them pretty hard and fast, and it just seems like when the, when you do everything very slowly with a rapid fire, it works fine. But then you start going a little faster and you want to shoot hard um, or, you know, quick rate of fire or whatever, and that's when I experience some, you know, missed rotation. Not a huge issue, but uh, worth noting. So now my opinion on the blasters. First, the Eliminator, this guy. I see no reason to buy this blaster at all, in, in my blunt opinion. It only holds two darts. It's really big. It's not particularly fast. It doesn't shoot uh, especially hard. I mean, it's not terrible, but I don't see why you would buy this blaster since the rapid fire is available. If you want a, a bug attack blaster and you don't want to buy a nerf blaster, you're set on the X-Shot Zuru blaster. I would recommend this one over this. So this is just like 100% obsolete. Like, I don't see any advantage to this whatsoever. If, if it shot both darts at once, I could say, okay, well, sometimes I'd want to shoot two darts at once. So there would be a reason. Without that, I don't see a single reason why you'd want to buy this unless you're going purely cosmetic. And if you're only cosmetic, I don't see why you'd be watching a video review since cosmetics is, you look at a picture and you're like, oh snap, I need that, it looks cool. And if that's your style, awesome, but I don't see why you'd be this far into my review, but thanks for staying around. So the Eliminator, um, not really recommended. I don't, I don't, I don't see the point. But the Rapid Fire, I'm pretty happy with the performance. It shoots just as hard as most other Nerf Elite Blasters right now, so it could be competitive. It's not really better to have a priming handle back here or this type of frame or anything, but it feels different and it's just another option. Like when the hammer shot came out, it didn't make the strong arm obsolete because it's just a different option. Some people like the hammer shot, some people like the strong arm. Now this one's thrown in and some people are gonna gravitate towards this. I think it's comfortable. I think it, I really like lime green and blue. So, you know, I, I like the look of this. I wouldn't paint it. I think it looks really cool. But the cycling issue would make me very hesitant to put this on my hip in an HVZ game or anything like that where, you know, dry firing when I, when I think I'm about to fire a dart could like kill me in, in the game, like kill me in the game. Probably not a good option to go with this when the hammer shot and the strong arm don't jam nearly as often unless you do something wrong or very rarely if something, you know, mechanically fails. This just happened more often than not. So the reliability issue, kind of a concern for me. I don't know if I have a limit. I've only shot one of these the one I'm holding here, um, but kind of a bummer. So that's my opinion on the blaster. Now back to the, the bug attack thing. The concept here is really cool. So you can either like set them on the material or just throw them at the material or like at a glass window, which is nice because you can just throw out the targets and then start shooting them. My biggest gripe about these is that when you shoot them, they don't react to the darts. So you don't really know you, you're actually hitting them. I don't have an easy fix for this. I don't know how you could design this differently to say, okay, when a dart strikes it, it pops off and says, okay, you hit me, woo, like a reactive target, like when you shoot down on a paper cup or something, and I don't have an idea of how they could implement that. It is really cool to shoot a moving target, but without the target reacting to you, making a noise, or letting you know that you hit it, you could just be shooting at shadows. You can put a flashlight behind you, move your hand, and just start shooting at your shadow, and it could almost be the same thing. You could just shoot at random stuff. It would be a lot more fun if they reacted to the darts to let you know you hit them. But it's a very cool concept, and they kind of fall at different rates, and it's it's kind of interesting. So if you get all lined up and then it moves, it'll, it'll make you kind of react to it and shoot at something of a moving target or kind of like a random target that you're not controlling. Pretty cool. And bonus, if you have cats, um, you, well, your cats might like it too. My cats did. <laughs> cool concept, but in my opinion and how I approach like shooting around for fun um, without like being in a Nerf war, I'd prefer a stationary target that reacts like put, setting out a can or a paper cup and shooting at that. That's more fun for me than shooting at a mobile target that doesn't let me know that I hit it. So I think I've covered everything in the X-Shot bug attack line, the Eliminator and the Rapid Fire. Hopefully I've given you everything you need to know to know whether or not you'd like to purchase the blaster. I'll have a buy link in the description box below if you're interested in buying um, any of this stuff. Love to have some feedback on the bulk review concept. I'm interested in doing that some more in the future. That's my review. Thanks for watching and as always, stay tactical.